have nothing to offer you, sir. Be gone! In that time period, bandits were everywhere. And if they see easy pickings, easy prey, if you know they don't see the men around to protect, they just go in and take what they want. Be gone. Our camp is attacked by bandits. It's devastating. It was hard for all of us to make it through that scene because it was really physical. Mary Abel gets shot and she gets killed and she dies. And it was just gut-wrenching and just ripped your heart out. Shave. I don't think he has much regard for outlaws, and certainly not for killers. I think he thinks probably the fewer of them, the better. These guys came in and killed some of his immigrants, and he felt bound to dispense some sort of justice. Welcome to the White Elephant Saloon. This is a saloon that was actually a bar back in the 1800s. I think it was built in actually 1889, which is really pretty close to our period. One of the main things that we added in here was lighting. We brought back the grandeur of the old saloons with the crystal chandeliers and the oil burning lamps. We brought in our own taxidermy. And then the existing bar is really beautiful. We kind of augmented the bar and set dressing comes in and that's when the whole thing kind of comes to life. We brought in pharaoh tables. Pharaoh was a very popular game that was played back then. And we brought in a period pool table say that fast three times. Then we have all of our uh, card playing tables and our basic saloon gear. This is something that we do pretty much on every set we do, but I think it turned out quite nicely on this one. Working with Billy Bob Thornton, he comes in, he's this easygoing guy, he's kind of unassuming. We get inside the saloon and he just turns it on to this stone cold killing sheriff. There's a very thin line in those days between justice and the criminals. I got so caught up into watching Billy Bob perform because it was so understated and so cool. I didn't say my line. Walked out the door and I went, oh, I had a line I was supposed to give to Sam. He's a powerful actor. It's hard to take your eye off of him. There's only one killer in Fort Worth and that's me. Claire's character is so powerful. Our daughter had gotten killed when the bandits had raided the camp. James, he knew she'd made her decision. What do I have left to live for, James? He knew her well enough to know that he wasn't going to change her mind no matter what. It was heartbreaking for him, but he was very matter of fact about it. Not clear. Yo, hun, Strace. Wild one. Best come on up to camp. Now we're all working together. First of all, this is my first time working on horses, really. Then you throw in like 50 cows. We need people to help us out. I'll be gone until tomorrow. I'm taking Elsa. You're what? This bunch of short on riders and we need her. How am I supposed to make her a lady when you keep treating her like a man? Plenty of ladies in this world. Pretty short on decent men, though. No. I think Margaret's decision regarding Elsa jumping on a horse, there's, I wouldn't say jealousy, but there's just a part of Margaret that just wants to ride across the field to see the mountains, the beauty, and just the freedom. When Elsa gets to help her father find wild cattle with these other cowboys. She's absolutely thrilled. As a mom, Margaret is completely terrified of what this means because the freedom that she is being exposed to is not going to last. It's everything she wants. She's a horseback rider. She wants to be a cowboy. To be in that environment and trusted to do it is exhilarating for her. I'm concerned. I feel like she'll be protected, but this child is spirited and she's hard-headed and strong, but she's also very smart. Ennis is, he's a cowboy, and he's a, he's a damn good one. The thrill we got from really gathering cattle, there was no acting going on. It was full focus cowboy mode. Ennis wholeheartedly embarks on this journey for one reason, and that's Elsa. If this was a cartoon, this would be the moment Ennis's eyes like pop into hearts. It's truly one of those fall in love at first sight kind of things for Ennis. Elsa, she wants to go after this young man and confuse him and enamor him. Maybe you're too pretty for me. <laughs> Maybe it takes her by surprise at first at least when she sees that he's interested in her. He is just completely overtaken by this girl and can't wait to spend more time with her, even if that means going through the hardest journey of his entire life. 
you see the flashback to the Civil War, it morphs out of the original picture into a live shot of Antietam in the farmhouse. I wanted people to be able to hold up the photograph next to our depiction of it and it be identical, and I think it is. You find out that I was a captain in the Civil War for the Confederacy, and James had a lot of pain and PTSD from that. Tom and I have been friends for such a long time, but when you're sitting there and you see Tom Hanks walk up and look at you and say, Captain, I just fell apart. When actors like this are willing to come play for a day or two, whether it's Tom Hanks or Billy Bob, it gives a weight to the world, and it gives a sense that anything can happen to anybody in this world. Cut. 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 The struggles are all real. The people are all real. The journey is beginning, and there's a long road ahead. It is not a walk in the park. It's a rocky road, big time. <laughs>